Hello, this is Erin with the Joy in Pens and Paper, and we are going to do a flip through of my 2023 Memory Keep journal. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Um, so this year, I spent the year in a Hobonichi cousin and um, used it for journaling, memory keeping, um, all things of documenting things that already happened. I had a separate method for doing my planning and task management and things like that. So this is just my documentation of my life. So um, let's flip through it. I stored it in a Hobonichi cover that it is dirty and well loved and, and such. Um, I don't really do anything much with the year at a glance and past year coming year. The, um, I have at times used this page to mark off, uh, I guess I'll say bank holidays or days that, um, I would have off from work. Um, I think at one point I used it to mark off pay periods, but I don't generally use that. With the six month index or six month at a glance, I started off the year doing a little notation for something to reference that day um, and chose an ink of the month. I liked it, but obviously I didn't keep up with it. So that was the, I guess, downside. Um, and I didn't touch it at all the second half of the year. The f then I started doing um, a sentence for each day with a memory. And then I was hoping to work on my cursive, which is still going to be something I want to work on for 2024 because I didn't make it. Um, didn't work on it consistently, but... Um, in cursive, I wrote, I wrote something for each day and followed that through February and March. And then in April, I did one day and that is, I love this ink. I actually just bought a bottle of this ink on Fountain Pen Day. It's Van Diemen's Snake Eyes. Uh, nope, Tiger Snake. My goodness, Tiger Snake. Um, and I didn't touch that for multiple months. I tried to get back into it in November with writing a headline for the day. I made it through half the month and stopped again. Um, and because this is used for documenting things, I don't use the additional three months that um, Hobonichi gives. Now getting into the weekly view. Um, so this is a format that works really well for me. I really love it. Um, I will tend to put my pen and ink choices right on the sidebar, um, document my weight. Um, spoiler alert, this year I had a little jump in my weight and wasn't able to prioritize bringing that back down. Um, so you'll see that after a bit, I just stopped tracking it because it was more discouraging than helpful. I document how I spent my time using the time bar for each day. And then I do some health stats at the bottom that I pull from my Apple watch. So I have my, um, my movement calories, exercise minutes, steps, distance, and weight. Uh, and then I will put in some stickers for that will help me to look at it and say, oh, you know, this day I went to the mall. Well, I don't ever go to the mall, so that's surprising. But I look at the note above it, which says dress shopping. And I know I went um, with my uh, friend for um, picking out her wedding gown on this day. So um, that's where that came from. So I'm just going to flip through. 
this ink, I loved the Inkabara Brown Gray, uh, and I actually considered buying a bottle of it at the time that I used it, but now it's almost a year later, and I'm looking at this and saying, I don't need a bottle of this. So I'm glad that I that I waited. That was that feels good. Um, and what I found with my weight is I always start off the week really or hot, really high, high for me. And then by Friday, I'm able to get it down. But then the weekend, I just live my best life. And I'm kind of okay with that. Um, this ink, I or this gray, I do love. The Pelican Edelstein Moonstone. And I got a bottle of that for Christmas 2022. Pennsylvania Fieldstone by Birmingham Pen Company. I love, love, love this ink. Um... I am generally pretty good about keeping up with this, but there are certainly times where I fall off, and that's okay. This is Birmingham Pen Company Petrified Wood, and it was in a medium nib Twisby, um, so it, it flowed right out of that pen, absolutely flowed out, um, and I love loved how this looked. This um, I this was Ferris Wool Press, the Velvet Ballet. I love this ink in a swatch. Let me zoom in just a little bit. But in writing, and probably partially because of the pen that I was using, it was not consistent at all. I had to go in and prime the feed quite frequently. Um, so you had these moments where it was deeply saturated, and then it would get clogged, and it would desaturate um, pretty significantly and um, when I write like this where it's more straight up and down that's where I'm having trouble getting the ink flowing versus when the ink is flowing consistently I have a little bit of a lean to my writing. New, uh, Noodler's Black Swan and English Roses I really wanted to love this ink but because or it has a it, might be because it's Noodler's actually. It has a really long dry time. And sometimes that really long dry time is more than one day. So I just, um, I used it. I'm glad I, I trialed it out, but it's not an ink that I will be buying. This is the week that I received my La Bon Rosa in Lilac and it ended up having a converter issue. So I sent it back to the um, company that I purchased it from because I didn't purchase directly from Le Bon and um, it had this inconsistent ink flow. And so they, they replaced the converter and sent it back and I love that pen. Ooh, I forgot about this ink. Ferris Wool Press Spruce County Post. This is a beautiful dark green. Um, I This is where I received my Sailor Manual Pro Gear Slim Nuts. Yes. And so on this day where I wrote, I had a sticker for So Excited, I um, went to a dive pub with some friends of mine and I won money on Kino. So while I was sitting there, I actually purchased the Sailor Manio Nuts Pro Gear Slim with part of that, those winnings. Um, and so it arrived and I used it this week. I love that pen. I do actually really love the ink that it came with. This is the Van Diemen's Tiger Snake. And I think at this time, what I was doing is using a pen and ink in here and I think in my in my journaling until it ran out of ink and then I switched to the next one, which is why there's some different pens and inks throughout the, the week. So I started with the Pilot Vanishing Point with Die Mine Triple Chocolate and then I moved to the E95S with Robert Oster Polar Vortex. And then it looks like I finished the ink with, it might be the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Manual Nuts with um, Shirakashi. 
And there's the Shirakashi. There's the, yep, this is the Tiger Snake. Um, and then I think this is Atlas Iron Ore, but I can't be sure about that. And this day I didn't record anything, that's okay. It was a little sparse this week and I didn't do any stickers this week. Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I had a lot going on. Um, and just looking at this notation here, I had a phone call um, where I was exploring another job because I was really frustrated at my current job. All right, this, oh, this, this is another ink. So this is Robert Oster um, Rose Gold Antiqua which I really, really, really also wanted to love. And I had it inked up in a Pilot Kakuno. I would like to see about getting this, another sample of this ink and trying it in another pen or two because I didn't love it in this pen. And generally the Pilot Kakuno is a really consistent writer and is um, tends to play nicely with, with a lot of inks. So that was frustrating. That's a really pretty green. I think this is a Ferrisville Press green. See, this is why I like putting the ink on the side. I'm surprised that I didn't for all of these weeks, but. I was actually doing some journaling today with my Laban Rosa and just thinking, gosh, I love how this pen writes. Um, that might be something I want to really pare down my purchasing for 2024. Um, I hear a lot of people saying that on YouTube. So apologies, everyone who likes to watch others unbox. Apparently we're all taking a year off, kind of joking, <laughs> but um, I may start saving up to get another Le bon because I love their nib. I love how they write. And I like inks with shimmers and looking back at them and, and seeing a year later how beautiful they are. This, um, so I received my first Estherbrook SD and wanted to, I think I received it on hmm. I want to say it was on the weekend, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, um, but I put in it the Pelican Edelstein Moonstone because I just love how that ink writes and I really enjoyed that combination. Oh, that's a huge amount of sheen. This is uh, Colorverse Aquarius. Is this really, really dark blue with this copper or bronze sheen. Um, that's a lot of sheen. It's another Laban, or no, not another. This is a Laban ink, Laban Aries, which is this beautiful red that has some kind of black um, shading around the edges or sheening around the edges. I received my Esterbrook SD. I might have gotten this. I think this morning when I went, I went for coffee with my neighbor or went next door and had coffee with my neighbor. Um, and so I inked it up with the exclusive ink that it comes with, which is this beautiful blue with pink shimmer. This was, I, I think it was on a Sunday, I went back and kind of backfilled 
some pieces of information and um, so I just kind of listed in bullet point format what we did that that day um, because I couldn't figure out the exact timing. Um, this was also the day that I resigned from my last job because I signed a the contract for a new job while in the car. So I went ahead and drafted my resignation email and sent it off. Um, Diamine Earl Grey is such a beautiful ink that I need to use that more. I purchased the Platinum Century 3776 in white and wrote, uh, white and gold um, as a birthday gift to myself using credit card cashback rewards and ink. And uh, also purchased Waringal Mad Hatter, which is this beautiful sage grayish green. Um, my favorite color is green. My favorite, my I guess my, well, I guess, yeah, my favorite color has always been green, but I love gray, so this ink is just perfect. For my birthday, my husband got me my husband and son purchased the Esterbrook SD and Petrified Forest with this ink, which is called, it's a brand called Auto Hut, and the ink is called uh, Gold Dust. Um, I was doing some journaling outside on the deck, and because um, I started my new job on this day, and um, it might have been Tuesday or Wednesday. I was out on the deck journaling. I think it was Tuesday. And it began to rain. So these raindrops came down, landed on the page. Yeah, I think it was Tuesday because you can see the transferring of ink from the rain dots um, on these two columns, which would have come from these two columns. So that's where the smudging is from. I don't like it, but at least it's a story. This is Labor Day week. Here's where I get really mad at myself. I um, I know this is not kind, but I was just so frustrated. Um, and I think this is where I really dropped, well, I had dropped off long before, but yeah. I think pretty soon I just stopped putting it there. I might sneeze. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh gosh. Um, all right. This week I had therapy and then I went on a lady weekend. Um, my girls all took me out to celebrate my 40th birthday. So we went to Mohegan Sun. We went to Mystic Village. Um, we played a murder mystery game. It was a lot of fun. I definitely increased my use of stickers towards the end of the year, but I'll do a little spoiler alert that um, the last two weeks, I don't think I used a single sticker. I started blocking off my work hours by doing this bar right here, just so I could start to document it. Um, I really like how that looks and I, I think I actually did that yeah I was gonna say I think I did that in the summer and it worked really well um, but I went from a job that I was required to work eight hours a day to a job that I'm required to work 7.25 so um, my last job I was often doing nine nine hour days sometimes longer um, and now I'm pretty good at doing or sorry, uh, seven hour day, not 7.25, seven hour day. Um, so I, I do a little bit better now. Um, the week leading up to Halloween, I wanted to do this alternating color. I love this color. So this is from Diamine Ink Event 2021, and it's called Brandy Snap. I have the small ink vent bottle of it. 
So I definitely want to use this in a few other pens, and if I continue to love it as much as I did in the Platinum Century 3776, I'm going to buy a bottle of it. It's, it's a gorgeous ink. I received my first hand-turned pen from Zodiac Pen Company in the Virgo pen bottle body style, and I inked it up with Robert Oster Summer Storm and became obsessed with that combination. Um, and then further in the month of November, I became obsessed with the blue and brown. Um, I did a lot of browns in November, and I just was obsessed with that, as well as this um, kind of blushy, peachy color and brown. And here are my no, oh, so did I do three no sticker weeks? One, two, three. Look at that. All right, so actually, let me just take a peek at this. Um, so I had listed out at the beginning of the year some fountain pens that I wanted, and of those pens, I did get the Twisby Eco Royal Jade, the Sailor Pro Gear Slam Manio Nuts, the uh, Laban Rosa, the Platinum 3776, a Pilot Capless Fermo, and the Narwhal Nautilus in Grand Rhapsody, and an Esterbrook SD. I ended up really evaluating and realizing I didn't need a Platinum 3776 and a Platinum Shape of Heart. They are the same pen and you're in essence paying, I think it's $100 more just for the Finial Swarovski Crystals, which probably is worth it, but um, I ultimately decided to just go with the Platinum 3776. The Traveler's Company Brass, what I really wanted um, was the factory green, but I'm having a hard time finding that. And, um, so I'm, I'm not necessarily sad about not getting it. The Twisby Diamond Mi Mini, I almost purchased. Um, when was that? Oh, when I was looking at Fountain Day pens, I almost purchased the Twisby Diamond Mini, but, um, again, ultimately decided I'm going to pause on that. And the Pilot Custom 74 or 74, what I want to do is go to a pen show and use it and see um, if it's really something that uh, I'm I'm very committed to. Um, in terms of inks, I did get some of like I got the mind. I got the sky seasons passing by. I got a sample of Rose Gold Antiqua, um, but I was looking into a brand called Papier Plume, which I believe is out of uh, Louisiana, maybe in the New Orleans area, and um, I wanted to get some samples of that, but I didn't end up doing that. I might revisit that because it, it is a brand that's in the United States. I'd like to support that. All right, so getting into my journaling, and I'm going to try to flip through this relatively quickly because we're already over 20 minutes in, but my month page, which is a blank page with no grid, but you can see through to the grid on the other side, I um, swatched all the pens that I had currently inked up, and um, some of them, like this one right here, I swatched this before January 1st, so this is at, was actually written dry by... December 30th um, and I so was the or no that was January 30th sorry um, and so some of them I actually I did do a good job of noting when they were written dry but that was a lot of pens that were inked up and then for my journaling um, I'm just looking January 1st I was at 294 subscribers, and I want to say this January 1st, I was at 1,244, something like that. 
subscribers. Anyway, no, maybe not that many, but over 1,200. So I had a gain of almost 1,000 um, subscribers in a year. That's great. That's wonderful. Um, all right. So I, I think I very consistently noted the pen that I wrote with, and that way I could reference it back to this page right here if I was ever wondering what ink that was. Um, so this is the Twisby Eco in Ackerman 28. I'm not going to define every single one, but um, like I said, I think I did do a pretty good job of going back or, or documenting the pen and ink. Oh, this is, so right here I had a fight with my son and then Discord, so um, I caught him engaging in some sneaky behavior with, um, he has my old phone that doesn't have a data package to it, but when it's on Wi-Fi, it acts like a cell phone, um, and I found out that he was taking it to school, which was not permitted, um, so we had some pretty hefty conversations. Um, and then I found out that he had created a, a Discord account, which um, you have to be 13 to create a Discord or to have Discord. And at that time he was 10. Um, so we, we had some very deep conversations about how if he believes that he is ready for that responsibility or then he should be at a point where he can have that conversation to make that request and give his reasons why and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, we've made a lot of progress with that, which I'm great. I'm very grateful for. I think this is where I, I started. Uh, I think it was Karina loves to plan was doing the same pen, uh, ink on a spread. And I liked how that looks. So I started doing that. This pen, this ink I want to love. I This is the Ferris Wheel Press Madame Mulberry, which I went ahead and got a bottle of because it just looked like it was a color so up my alley. But I inked it up in a Pilot Decimo with a fine nib and it just was so light. This purple, um, it was, I have the Twisby Glow Purple or Twisby Eco Glow Purple, and I put Diamine Harmony in it. And because the ink capacity is so large, I just felt like this was inked up for forever. This is more of the Madame Mulberry. Oh, I put these dots here. We, I saw um, the Starlink for the first time. So I wanted to do something. I'm not a huge doodler. There's my Laban Rosa. And getting into March, I still had that Twisby Glow Purple inked up. This is where I started getting my nails done and I have decided to stop getting my nails done. So this manicure that I have right now, I am going to let it grow out and move on. But I started in March and got dark green nails in a matte finish and had a little shamrock painted on there. There's my Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Oh, that was a gorgeous meal. That was so yummy. Um, yeah, I took a sick day and took myself out to lunch and read some articles and um, yeah, that's, that was my lunch.
Now getting into April. Oh, love this color. So glad I got a bottle of it. And this is one that I wrote with it in April. I absolutely loved it. And then I did not purchase it until Fountain Pen Day in November. There's my pen and ink for May. I finally got done with the Harmony in the Twisby Glow Purple. Oh, this, that still gets me. Pretty sure that my boss recorded a conversation that we had without receiving consent. Still mad about it. Oh, my tire wheel. That was so frustrating. I went to take a turn and the, um, ball bearing broke so the wheel fell out of the wheel well I held up traffic and inconvenienced people there's a picture of my car parts for Mother's Day my husband got made me a um, picture book with comments from my channel I did a flip through of that at one point my car ended up back at the shop because it was leaking transmission fluid. <laughs> Myself and my colleague had some public shaming in a meeting with um, people at our same level, lower level, etc. Um, and then I had a long chat with HR. So that was fun. So glad I don't work there anymore. June, when I started to um, swap out the berm, the Pilot Fermo, there was a little dot of brown, so I had to redo that one. I was supposed to take a half personal day, and <laughs> I wrote not quiet, and I meant to write not quite, so I wrote oops, um, but I ended up not getting that time off as I had anticipated. Summer break part one. My friend and I went to a concert in New York City. So, um, and we got to hang out with some of the band afterwards. Had this, went to this gorgeous little um, breakfast place near our hotel and we went to the Harry Potter store and then we went and saw that same band in concert again uh, in Boston and, and my back was so sore from all of the hours of standing and the hours spent in the car um, so while we were we ended up being in the front row of the show in Boston and there's the little divider um, barricade between the, the crowd and the stage. And I just leaned against the barricade with my, you know, with my hands like this and my chin on my arms, just trying to stretch out my back because it was so sore. Um, and then I went right into a bachelorette weekend on the Cape for my friends, my friend who got married in August. Um, and we had this amazing experience where we uh, chartered a boat that went from Falmouth to Martha's Vineyard and we moored in Martha's Vineyard. Um, so it was, it was fun. And yeah. Oh, I became a board of director for a board that I'm on. Um, I'm getting into July. My husband and I went to a Tori Amos show and then I went out, had a ladies night out in Plymouth. There's this huge yellow chair that we all posed on and I had oysters and such. I'm 
my tromso broke. I'm still sad about it. I wish I, I have maybe, maybe healthy envy, maybe unhealthy envy. Um, I saw Karina loves to play on, got a tromso. It broke in the same way mine did, but she contacted the seller who sent her a wrench and she was able to fix it. Um, I was not sent a wrench. I didn't necessarily, well, I asked for a replacement. I should have inquired if there was a repair option, but I'm just sad because I love that particular color of that Tromso. Um, mine is gorgeous, but it has a lot more of the opal or white. My first one had a whole lot more of the purple and teal. It was just a darker um, body, but yeah, so I still have some feelings. Um, we did a family vacation in Vermont. I did a lot of professional development this summer, which I don't understand. My, my work made my work life so miserable. Why they kept sending me to conferences, I could never figure out. Um, my friend's second bachelorette party, which I called Naughty Night because, um, she and her now husband have a, kind of a nautical affinity. Um, the first piece of jewelry he got her was a compass and their wedding was very nautical themed. There's another conference that I went to. We went to a, the, um, Tower Hill Botanical Garden. I need to do more kind of ephemera like this. Um, but I also ordered the Platinum 3776 as my birthday gift. I hemmed and hawed over it for a while, but I just finally went ahead and placed the order. This is when my work asked me, I had expressed an interest in changing positions because I was acknowledging that I was not I clearly was not what they wanted for the position I had held for a year and a half. Um, and so I had asked to switch to a different position and they responded back by saying, submit your resignation. And upon receipt of that, we will consider a position change. And that just pushed me over the edge. <laughs> so um, I received that on a Tuesday went home and applied for jobs, had an interview on Thursday and received a job offer on Friday and submitted my resignation. And when I submitted it, I was petty and said, per your request, please see my resignation. But I acknowledge I was petty. And then I had this weird plot twist where an old job that I used to work for reached out to me and said, hey, we hear that you're available. Could you come back? Um, yeah. And so then the next day I went in and had a conversation and um, received an offer that I accepted right then and there. Um, so I went out to lunch with some of my uh, some of the ladies that I used to supervise at a job that I had two years ago or two jobs ago that I still keep in touch with. Um, and I gave them the whole like rundown and, um, it was all dramatic. Then we go into wedding weekend. We had the rehearsal dinner. We met up with the, I was the maid of honor. Um, we met up with the, uh, best man and his partner, um, at a brewery beforehand. Here's the wedding day, the bride's beautiful hair. I ended up hating my hair. I thought it looked like a little beehive or like, I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, I had the, um, what is it called? Orientation for my new job on, it was supposed to be Monday and Tuesday, but I was only able to go Monday. Monday was my 40th birthday. Uh, and I went for part of the day to orientation and then my husband's son and I went and we did my birthday celebration festivities, which was staying at a hotel. We ordered takeout, we went swimming and then Tuesday, um, 
my husband and I got a couple's massage and we went to a nice dinner and we went to a paint night. And then on Wednesday, this was not related to my birthday, but on Wednesday, we went to New Hampshire and climbed Mount Monadnock, which was, that's a mountain that I climbed a lot growing up. So it was really nice to be able to take my son there. Um, he was Mr. Negative, but he made it. We went to a soccer game on this day. Got my nails done. Um, I went down to visit a friend of mine who lives in Plymouth and we did a lady day on Friday where we went to a spa. Um, so you can see us in our robes and cucumbers on the eyes and, and such. Um, and then I got home and my husband and I had a cigar and some wine. That's my son. He, we did a fantasy football team with the kids and the parents. Um, so the first Sunday he was all in, he was on the couch with his Chromebook, checking his team. The cat was right there with him. Um, but that lasted all of one week. My car failed its, ex its inspection. Ugh. It did, it did end up passing, but it needed a little bit of work. This was the birthday weekend that I mentioned. So I guess I went to Mohegan Sun. Oh, I got a forever bracelet right here. So I have this chain that's soldered on um, and a friend of mine got a, a similar, a different style chain, but also got a forever bra bracelet. And it's the same friend that both of us have um, a tattoo, right? These music notes. Um, and it's the friend that I go to concerts with. So, came home from Lady Weekend. Oh, I went to work and one of the students um, used red Legos and made a heart and gave it to me and I still have it on my desk months later. Oh, this is where you see my journaling style changes. So I start adding in, it used to be just kind of, let me go to where there's no pictures, but um, just writing. And I started adding in these kind of little fun lettering to highlight different things. And I really like that. Now we get into October, which boom, here comes the orange. So I got a lot of brighter colors. Went to a Rabel concert. <laughs> I put car spa day because my car, I it failed inspection because it needed two new tires. The license plate in the front was still damaged from an accident that I was in two years ago. So the letters needed to be repainted and the fog lights were out. So I repainted the letters on the license plate and then I brought it to get the two new tires. It also needed an oil change. It also needed new, like a transmission fluid flush. Um, so it was very expensive. So I went ahead and called it a car spa day. I really like the, this is a Ferrisville Press, what is it called, a Workshop Wishes. And I really liked that ink, that was beautiful. I did make a mistake and put a shimmer ink in a Ferrisville Press fine nib. That is not a good choice. Um, it worked, as long as I use it every day, it worked well. Um, but, Oh, I left my air. I saw AirPods and I was like, why did I have that there? I left my AirPods at work. So I had to go the whole weekend without AirPods, um, which I don't love. Oh, I received my Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0 in angel skin because I won $1,000 really $1,284 
playing Kino, and so I purchased the Laban the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0 in Angel Skin. The money was deposited on Tuesday and the pen arrived on Wednesday. And here's where I start using it. It has an elastic fine nib, so you can get some, you can do some really fun hand lettering. My son for Halloween. Oh, I love the first day of the month with looking at our monthly interest and how much we got. And this is where I li live my best brown life. Um, oh, I had put Colorverse brunch date in the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande. And it just was so amazing that I bought a bottle of it. Um, this is where I got my Zodiac Pen Co. Uh, hand turned pen and so like I said I just fell in love with the brown and the blue and I also changed it so that I clustered my highlight letters words whatever you want to call it did I spell early wrong I spelled early wrong look at that um yeah I love the brown and the blue. I got a mammogram. Started knitting again, which I put it down for the holidays. I got to pick it back up. My husband bought a snowman for the front yard for our Christmas decorations. And then we get into December, where I used a lot more jewel-toned inks. My loan, my federal student loans were forgiven. Ugh, oh my gosh. Um, so, of course, I bought a new pen, which um, also was my Christmas gift, just to be clear. I spelled cannoli wrong, but we went to our morning, our Friday morning coffee place and they had these cute little cannoli ornaments for sale. My husband loves cannolis. I got my first YouTube paycheck, which they said expected between December 21st and December 26th and it came right on the 21st. Here's our Christmas, um, which I wanted to use my new Pelican M600 out of habit. I wrote M400. So instead of doing a uh, contrasting color for the lettering, I just kept it all with the Pelican. It is a stiffer nib than the M400, um, but I can get some line variation with it. And they, of course, the ink that I put in it, in it, um, Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the initial ink that I put in it was a shimmer ink, which may not have been the best choice, but it's such a gorgeous ink. And then I um, inked up my, for January 2024, I inked up on the 30th. So I went ahead and started writing. I received a bottle of Dimine Ink Vent Olive Swirl for Christmas and I just was dying to use it. So I went ahead and put it in my Pelican M400 and I ended writing with my, for the, to close out the year, the hand-turned pen from Zodiac Pen Co with the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0 um, and a new ink sample that I got from a viewer called Tono and Limbs Trust You and um, another ink sample that I got from another viewer, Taz, uh, wearing gold shock. So that is, oh, and I did not use any of these back pages. Not a single one. That's a page that I pulled out from another one. Looks like I had a clogged 
pen and I needed to unclog it. So that is it. I can now pull this out and archive it on my shelf. Um, my Hobonichis do not get overly chunky because I'm not putting a ton of stuff in them. Um, but they do definitely show signs of wear and tear. So, all right. Thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, I appreciate the time that you gave to me. I am grateful for you and I hope that you have a wonderfully productive day.